Well, segment we've been waiting for this whole show, and it's the fragrances are filling up the room here. It's fresh from the city's pride events. Now, Tel Aviv is celebrating another of its trademark characteristics, as I'd say, with the world's famous Vegan Fest. It's upon us again, expecting more than 100,000 visitors this year, a wide variety of the ever more innovative cuisine that's emerging from vegan chefs around the country, for example. And to get into it, we're not only joined by plates full of food on the table here, but we have Omri Paz, the CEO and the founder of Vegan Friendly and plant-based food advocate, of course, and Nadia Ellis, thanks for joining us, a vegan chef and uh, entrepreneur as well in this sector. So we'll hear about what you're up to. Omri, first of all, I know the, the viewers could get a glimpse here of what's on the table, and we'll get to that in a minute. It's an exciting spread, but just a sample of what's happening at Vegan Fest. I mean, tell us about how, you know, you were here last year. How has this grown? List of sponsors, people. What are you expecting this year? Yeah, well, first of all, it's uh, the fifth Vegan Festival, and this year it's going to be the biggest vegan festival in the world. Huh. Really excited, as you mentioned, over 100,000 people. We're going to have over 100 food stands with the vegan food. Basically, we're creating a vegan paradise yeah, really? for people to come and enjoy. And besides food, they're going to be also like live concerts. Um, Nunu, for example, is one of the most famous uh, performers in, in, in the country and lots of content in the in, in the festival and uh, yeah just like this as I mentioned this huge vegan vegan uh, paradise uh, it is I mean in Tel Aviv I know it's just become this and you've been a big part of that you know creating the city as a real hub a friendly hub and I didn't introduce our producer over here more Ellen who of course Hello. joining us as a self-professed vegan herself, I had to have someone yes. with the real knowledge of the food here to try some of this. <laughs> Nadia, um, tell us about you know your innovations, how you've gotten into this field. What do you, what do you say about it? Well. What I should say, first of yeah. all, is that it's one of the most exciting vegan festivals that I am going to participate to because um, almost nine years ago, I participated to the very first vegan festival that I ever went to. It was organized by Vegan Friendly. It was very small back then. Yeah. I was a, a new vegan. I didn't know anything about <laughs> veganism. I didn't know how to cook even back yeah. then. I remember buying my first vegan products over the air. And fast forward nine years, this year, I am launching my own line of uh, vegan products right. at the festival. And it's incredibly exciting, and it's exciting to be part of this community that is growing year by year. Tel Aviv by now is the vegan capital of the world, we all know it, the highest percentage of vegans in the world, really? oh. and the variety. I mean, yeah. uh, there's well, really nothing missing, and I think the, the whole concept that we, with my line of course, but not just me, everybody who's presenting there, we want to uh, share with the people is that it's a world of abundance. It's not a world of things that are missing. Yeah. It's an abundance it's, of flavors. It's a shift in the, the mentality around veganism, for sure. Totally. We all have to give up all these things in my You're diet. not giving up. You're just going into a new up. world Very of, nice. uh, yes, a new experience, a new world. And, uh, and of course, not everything is vegan right. nowadays. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to give you know, my, uh, my part in this. <laughs> I'm Italian. I'm a vegan Italian chef. Go. And wow. so I'm, I'm launching this line of Italian products oh, that right. are completely missing on the market. Yeah, that's and good... so year by year, you can come to the festival and see that there are new innovations, new foods, new flavors, new brands, new everything. I mean, that's uh, certainly on display before our eyes right here. I would say new. I mean, there's are things that you, I, you look, I'm some you know, expert on vegan cuisine, but Omri, give us a little tour around this table here. A lot of things that look like meat on this table. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, we have four dishes of uh, 416. If it's vegan calamari, oh, vegan roast yeah. beef, yeah, we had a uh, vegan cheesecake, a vegan steak, which is one of the most famous dishes in the country. Yeah. You were seeing um, that one over there. Yeah, the vegan yeah. steak with the green beans and potatoes in the dish. Okay. Yoeg, which is uh, one of the most famous uh, vegan food tech companies, have they, they're going to serve a poached egg. Uh, yeah, eggs Benedict, like which is, I mean, if, if you, like when you try egg. it, you'll be shocked. Wow. It's exactly like an egg. And <laughs> of course, we have yes, also. We can try. I think we're going to get into it. We're not going to be too <laughs> yeah, shy yeah, yeah. as you're talking. Look gonna... how it explodes, like the, all the yolk goes <laughs> inside. It does. It looks like nice. a poached egg. Yeah. It's Actually, amazing. I tasted it before, we, before <laughs> I went in. It was just like, amazing. I'll have to ask. And we have a, a, a Miss V, which oh, uh, yeah. with all yeah. sorts of dishes, if it's the vegan bun. And um, we, have, we have the vegan ramen. Yeah, the Vietnamese bun over there, right? Look, the dim sum. Bun. It's a famous uh, a favorite in my house, I know. Okay. And okay. Miss V is a great example of, like, the, we can see how the vegan um, culinary segment has exploded. They started as a delivery um, business, and now they have their own restaurant, and, like, the demand is just, like, exploding, and they're also going to be in the vegan festival. I mean, it's just like, it's like egg you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just as it's shocking for me. So. You know, what can you tell us about this dish just in particular? I mean, this is a, not only a visual display, but a textural, you know, sort of work of, of, of magic as well. You know, 
Uh, this is from 416? No, this is from uh, Yoeg. It's an it's a Israeli uh, food tech company. They just uh, expanded to, to the States, selling over in over 100 different uh, locations. And this is like the, 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 big, the big new thing out there. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's remarkable. Yes, I mean, you know, this is... I, you know, I don't know what you're thinking more. I mean, these things, I, mean, I don't know how long it's been since you had a real poached good, egg, but and yes. It, uh, it has the same reaction as a wheel egg, yeah. which is something when I watch the, like, the right. cooking shows, I'm like, yeah, I want something like that yeah. as well for me to, to dip my bread in. And now we have it. It's, like it's an amazing. Egg. I and, never seen anything like it. And the white, too. Like I mean, it's like, it feels like a real egg. So that's a remarkable. Yeah. This is, wow. Okay, it's success. Um, I'm interested in digging into some of these meat looking ones on the other side. I don't know if Omri can help pass this over. Yeah, sure. If I, uh, yes. if I may yeah, add something from this. a chef's yeah. perspective on, on all the dishes that you see, I'm sure there are people at home saying, but why do they need to pretend it's, a, it's okay. an egg? Mm -hmm. Why do they need to pretend right. it's a calamari? Well, as you could say it's like an imitation category. Right. right. So you know? why, why yeah. if you go vegan, then why would you want those products back? And I think it's important to say, and this was also the base of my uh, beginning as a chef, we all grew up as non-vegans. We are not a generation that grew up right. as vegans. We all miss the food we grew up with. There's no reason, if you can have it in a vegan version, that you would give up on the flavors that you grew up with. So this and this is, is the whole concept. Baseline, that you need to have this, uh, yes, this is still even, familiar to you. So right, yeah. of course. I mean, for me, uh, of course, I grew up in Italy, so for me, Italian food is, uh, is my home food, and I spent years recreating uh, the Italian food that I grew up with, and there's really, really nothing bad about it. Like, why, why should I give up on the flavors I grew up with? And even in my TV shows, um, my cooking shows yeah. on Keshe, Tarut Stenzwe, okay. I teach people to recreate the flavors that they grew up with, and it's absolutely normal. It's and if you're not it's into... also the experience, the experience of growing up and tasting those flavors, and now we want to taste them again. And yes, if without... If we can recreate it exactly. healthy and good, why wouldn't we? Why not? That's, why not? Yeah. But, but then again, if you're not into those kind of flavors because you don't want to taste meat because you're grossed by meat yes. or for whatever reason, really good. Get, then get on this. Yes, of you might as well cook uh, on a purely plant-based uh, style, and you will find that too at the festival. I mean, there's really everything for every kind of you know, um, palate. Describe the appeal. I mean, what you know, what do you find motivates most people towards a vegan lifestyle? Is, is it a combination? I mean, is it you know ide ideology in terms of animal you know issues, or is it is it a health choice? I mean, what do you find motivates most people to, to be vegan? I know it's a tough one, perhaps. There is. Yeah. Look, maybe I will let uh, Omri talk about what yeah. motivates. I would like to talk about what. Uh, Add the same in our last um, minute of the show here too. What is so. difficult? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. so I'll just yeah. uh, I'll just answer briefly. Yeah. O obviously, we all know that the animal industry is yeah. very very tough, and the conditions there are horrible. And most people would prefer to be vegan if yeah. they could. It's not sustainable yeah. ecological wise, of course. Uh, climate change and the food industry is one of the biggest causes. So we all know this cannot be sustainable in the long run. But it's difficult for most people, yeah. and this is where the Vegan Fest and brands like mine or these come in. Making it we are making it easy. Much more palatable, literally. Palatable, um, affordable, uh, achievable, easy <laughs> to get, easy to eat, and easy to enjoy. Only buzz, Nadia Ellis. Vegan Fest is on. I believe it's uh, June 21st, 22nd. Do exactly. I have that right? Mm -hmm. This this uh, month in Tel Aviv, a Park Yonkon. Much more than this there for our viewers to enjoy.